Welcome back to my channel. If you're seeing my face for the first time, hi, my name is Amira, and you're welcome to my channel. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. So today's video is a little bit different from my usual videos. In this video, I'm going to be talking to my ladies, I'm going to be talking to the girls. This video is going to be about feminine hygiene tips I think every girl should know. Now, so if you're a girl and you know you're struggling with some things, you definitely want to watch this video. And please don't forget to share this video with your friends. You know, anybody that you feel needs this video, please share it to them. Now let's get into the video. So before I start, I want to say that in this video, I'm going to try my best to be as realistic as possible. And I also believe that a lot of people that watch my videos are mature people. So please try, I don't want to see comments like, you. this thing is gross. I don't want anybody to, to see this thing as disgusting because it's something that we all can relate to. Yeah? Yeah. So let's get into the video. So this video is going to be divided into four parts. The first part is going to be on hands and nail hygiene. The second part will be on oral hygiene. The third part will be on body hygiene. And the fourth part will be on vaginal hygiene. So on the hands and nail hygiene, I think the first thing you should do is to always wash your hands. Washing your hands is very, very, very important. And it's like the most basic thing that every girl should do. You should always wash your hands, whether you use the restroom or not, whether you touch surface or not. Just wash your hands because you we, there are times where we are not even conscious of where we touch and we just touch surfaces and everything just becomes dirty and we don't want to use that kind of hand to mistakenly eat now. Just wash your hands before you eat, wash your hands. Before you drink something, wash your hands. Anything you want to do, wash your hands. So my next point to be for you to always cut your nails. It's very advisable you cut your nails. Just because you don't want a situation where you long nails and you know you touch something and everything is just dirty, tacky. Some people will leave their nails to be long, they will not take care of it. Everything will just be looking so messy and disgusting. So please always cut your nails. And I'm not only talking about your fingernails, I'm also talking about your toenails. Cut your toenails and for your toenails, try as much as possible to keep it dry just because of athlete's foot. You know this thing where it's very, very painful, I promise you. So please you don't want to experience it. Try as much as possible to keep your toenails clean. If possible, if you can afford a manicure and pedicure, if you can afford to go to the spa, please go to the spa and them take care of your nails for you. I see some guys, some boys, you see their nails like this, you want to run. Very disgusting. Ah. My third point would be for you to always use sanitizers. Yes. Pandemic or no pandemic, use sanitizers. When you touch surfaces, use sanitizers. For eating, use sanitizers. Just disinfect your hand. Make sure you disinfect your hand just to protect yourself from disease and everything. So we're going to move on to oral hygiene. Now, under oral hygiene, the first and the most obvious thing you should do is to brush your teeth. <laughs> brush your teeth at least two times daily. Saying this now, I feel like an hypocrite because I don't brush my teeth two times daily. Sometimes I brush it once, sometimes two times daily, but that is the right thing to do. Brush your teeth at least two times daily. In a situation where you go out or in a situation where you finish eating and food gets stuck in your teeth, meat gets stuck in your teeth, in that kind of situation, if you're at home or if you're in a place where you can easily brush your teeth, Please brush your teeth rather than using toothpick. Brush your teeth. And if you are not in that kind of position, always have floss with you just so you can use it to pick your teeth. It is advisable to use floss than to use toothpick. Toothpick is harmful. So try your best to avoid using toothpick. Now, you should always use mouthwash after brushing your teeth because using mouthwash will make your teeth smell fresh and it will help you to, I don't know, some, just, if you buy a really good mouthwash, it will help to remove plaques and tartar from your teeth. If you don't know what plaques, I'm going to leave a picture of it on the screen. All, this, they are the yellow, all those yellowish things that are usually in the teeth, yes, you, they, are not, they are not pleasing to see. <laughs> Please try your best to let go of them, to get rid of them as soon as you can. Now, it's advisable for you to always visit the dentist at least once or twice in a year. Just so you can be sure your teeth is healthy, just to keep your teeth healthy and you know, take good proper care of it. Your dentist will know the best thing for you to do to your teeth. Now, I've not started doing this particular one, but this is something you should, you, should, you should try if you can afford it. So, in a situation where you are in a gathering or you, are, or you go out and you do not talk for, in, for a while, maybe you are in a bus or something, you like, don't talk for a while, then you come down, you want to talk to the person that you are supposed to meet, and you realize the person is running away from you, as the person is just using style to shift back. That means your mouth is already smelling and it's not, it does not mean you did not brush your teeth well at home. It just means it's just because of the fact that you have not opened your mouth in a while. Now, in that kind of situation, I always advise people to have mint in their bag, sweet or bubble gum. Even if it's Tom Tom, just have Tom Tom in your bag and just always make sure you're licking it just so your mouth will smell fresh. It can be very, very embarrassing when you go out and you're talking to somebody and the person is just like... <laughs> You don't want that kind of thing to happen to you, so please always have bubble gum or tom tom or mint, any mint sweet in your 
bag. Now I'm going to move on to the third segment, which will be on body hygiene. The first point of that is for you to eat bath two times daily. Now, bath in the morning and in the night. And if you're a girl on your period, always have like people to have their bath every single time they have to change their pads. Just so you are sure your body is fresh because. When you're on your period, it's a very, very delicate period and it's a very, very sensitive period, rather. And if you don't take care of yourself well, you can develop like very bad body odor. So always have your bath at least two times daily. Now, if you don't have your bath in the morning, please just always have your bath before you go to bed. Because imagine going out, all the dirt, all the sweat, everything. You now come back and come and you to sleep on your bed again. Please, please, please always have your bath two times daily. Now, when washing your body, you want to make sure you wash the back of your ear, the mid your elbow, this part of your elbow. You want to make sure you wash in between your toes. You want to make sure you wash in between your fingers. All those hidden places. If you have thick thighs, wash in between your thighs because that will get stuck in there. So, please, you always want to make sure you are washing your body well. I beg. So my next point to be for you to always wash your hair. Yes, you need to always wash your hair just so your hair does not smell because the hair can smell so bad. So always wash your hair. Now, this particular one, I think I need to beg people to actually do it. Please use the other one. Honestly, I feel like not using the other one should actually be a, should actually be a crime. Like what will you go outside without using roller? What will you go outside without using perfume? Please! Now, I know there are people that do not like smell of these things. You can buy the ones that don't have smell. You can buy the ones that don't have scent. The ones that will just make you feel fresh. I will just keep you fresh. Please use deodorant. I beg you. Now, it's advisable you use deodorant that do not have aluminium. Just to avoid getting dark on the arm. If I find, any, if I find pictures of any deodorant that, do not, that does not have aluminium, I'm going to leave a picture on the screen. So you can get it. But it's always very advisable you use deodorant that does not have aluminium but the most important thing use deodorant use perfume oils use use perfume it's not all these things that have scent there are no i know that there are some that do not have scent they just make you smell fresh please buy them and use it's not expensive I, i'm pleading please now the next thing will be for you to moisturize you don't want to go out and you're looking dry your skin is looking so dry i know there are times where this thing happens it happens to me at times too but please always moisturize your skin how much is vaseline Bruh. buy small vaseline if you don't have vaseline use any oil you have if you don't have oil use um shea butter make sure your skin is always it's, i don't know it's not just good when your skin is looking ashy dry no 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 it's not good it's not good you cannot be for me fine girl with that kind of thing please cream your body now the one that i get irritated the most is when i when i have to do somebody's makeup and it's time to put on their lipstick and their lip to even draw the to even put the lip liner on the on the lip everything will just be dry please moisturize your lips i am pleading moisturize your lips put lip gloss on your lips if you don't have money for lip gloss use shea butter or you lick your lips please that thing can be very very annoying though know? the lips will just be dry you won't be please just make sure you moisturize always moisturize your body well the next thing you need to do is to shave when you don't shave the hair then will mix with the moisture your body your body produces and that can bring out a very very awful odor especially when you do not use the odor right again everything will just be smelling together ah please make sure you shave shaving does not really have any health benefit but please just shave just to avoid smelling shaving makes you smell fresh and you know it just stops all the bad odor that comes from that place because the truth is your body will always produce bad odor if you do not keep it clean my next point will be for you to wear clean clothes try as much as possible not to rewear your clothes and if it's in a situation where you have to rewear the clothes when you come back when you wear it today and you come back take it outside take it to where there is sun dry it that place please dry it there like to smell to smell at least it will, all the sweat will go off go off it but please always try as possible best to always wear clean clothes don't try, try your best not to repeat clothes and even if you have to repeat your clothes make sure you wash them before repeating them just because sweat from your body will now stay on it and oh god i wish you can understand <laughs> it's, it's just so disgusting so please just try your best to wear clean clothes so another thing you should do under body hygiene is for you to always wash your makeup brushes you need to always wash your makeup brushes just to prevent rashes acne you just prevent your skin from breaking out wash your makeup brushes keep your makeup brushes clean because you cannot apart from the fact that it's even going to spoil your face self it's going to also spoil the brushes how will you not wash your makeup brushes please so i'm going to move into the last segment of this video which is under vaginal hygiene i'm just going to be saying these things randomly so one thing you should do is to not wear tight underwear you want to wear loose loose underwear you want to wear loose clothes wearing tight underwear will just make you have what they call a button in yoruba it's called shaffing of ties if i find a picture i'm going to leave it on the screen but if you are a thick girl and you have laps you 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 can relate to this thing honestly wearing tight underwear every you it, that thing is very very uncomfortable you don't want it to happen to you so please just wear personally i advise that you get 
a pant that is one size bigger than your pants big by your pant size just because of that thing that thing is very uncomfortable and disgusting and annoying you don't want to wear moist underwear because your vagina already produces its own moisture it already, it already produces its own moisture why would you not go and wear moist clothes there again don't you know what the, the moisture from your vagina the moisture from the pants everything if you do not shave that part again the hair everything Whew. the smell that will come out of that place Please make sure your any pants you want to put on is always dry. I know a situation where you are rushing and you and you quickly wash it and you wash your pants and you put it in the washing machine and you finish spinning and you just put it on and go. Don't do it though. Please <laughs> don't try it. <laughs> now it's always advisable you wear cotton underwear when you're your period. Don't wear all these fancy underwear. Yes, those ones are fancy, but they will not protect you. But they are not as good as cotton underwear is in a situation where you go out or you go to a public toilet and you need to pee or you need to do the number two. Please, I beg you, don't sit on the toilet, squat, and if you need to do the number two, line the toilet See, you see the place that you're supposed to sit down on? Line the toilet seat with tissue paper. Line inside it too with tissue paper. Just so, when you sit down on it, and in case water splashes or anything, it does not splash to your butt. So please, be very, very careful. If possible, say, don't even use public toilets. Try your best, hold it till you come home. But if you know you cannot hold it, then you can use it. But try your best to cover everywhere up with tissue paper. And always hold wipes. As a, don't use tissue to clean your butt after using the restroom. Use wipes because wipe has moisture on it. Tissue is just dry. Everything used to still be smelly. So use wipe as opposed to using tissue. Now, try as much as possible not to wear pants to sleep. If possible, wear loose, very loose pajamas or shorts that will just that are very very loose. Wear baggy clothes to sleep. You don't want to wear pants then you now wear jeans again to sleep. Please, oh ah, no, <laughs> wear loose clothes. One thing I always advise people is for them to always hold extra pants and extra pads because there are times when your period just comes and it comes at a really, really annoying time, really surprising time. Because obviously, there are times when we forget that we are even girls, there are times when we forget that we're supposed to even see our period. Let's be honest. <laughs> so, in a situation like that, always hold extra pair of clean pants and at least one or two pieces of pad in your bag just so, even if it comes at an unexpected time, you'll be prepared and you'll not be caught on fresh. Do you get? Now, one thing I always advise people is for you to use part liner. So, in a situation where you know you just finished your period and you're just or you are at the end of your period and you are spotting, you can use part liners to instead of, as opposed to using pads because if you if because pads are now getting really expensive, so just use part liners or you can also use them for like, situations where you don't want your vaginal discharge to stay in your pants. Just, just use part liners and they are very thin and more comfortable than pads itself. So very advisable you can use it so as a girl there are some things that you're not supposed to eat so be very very careful do your research on what you're supposed to eat and what you're not supposed to eat because there are some things that you eat that will make your vagina to smell so try as much as possible not to eat them now you want to avoid using scented soap or perfumes on your vagina your vagina will always smell it has its own smell what you're just trying to avoid is to avoid trying to make it smell bad so please don't use soap or don't, don't use soap to wash it don't use perfume don't use anything there please 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 and please also another thing i forgot to mention when i was talking about the body hygiene is that in a situation where you are in a gathering and you know you begin to notice smell or something i always advise that you have perfume in your bag now perfume and wipes so, so you can just go to the restroom use the wipes clean clean your armpits and you know just put perfume this is just a very simple hack for when you are in a very very important place and you begin to notice and you begin to sweat and you notice you are smelling or something this is not this is not what you should be doing every time right nothing should not have your bath when you get home please have your bath so of course the end of this video i hope you found it helpful i hope you learned one or two things please do not forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel also share this video to one or two people if you know there's anybody you want to pass some of this information to i don't know how to pass it to them just share the video to them and tell them to watch it finish it's as simple as that Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want me to do one for the boys, let me know. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.